The Canadian Car Collector here, and welcome back to day 52 of a daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Bicycle Unicorn Playing Cards. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. Here we have the Bicycle Unicorn Playing Cards here, and it is the English French Tuck Box version here. And it is a glossy finished tuck box here. And it is a purple tuck box here. We've got the bicycle logo here. We've got the spade there with the unicorn and some stars. You've got playing cards there in English and French. And you got unicorn there in English and French with a little spade there in the middle. On the side it says air cushion finish in English and French. Other side it also just says air cushion finish made in the USA. On the bottom, you just got a barcode and a recycling logo there. On the back, you got a little sneak peek of the back design and the King of Diamonds. And a little, some corporate information there. And the bicycle logo underneath the seal. Here you got the standard United States Plank Card Company black seal with a little white border. On the top, it says poker size. And it says it over there in French. On the inside of the tuck flap. You got some more coping information. Nothing on the little tabs on the inside. So we'll take the cards out. On the inside of the tuck box, it's just plain white. Nothing too fancy going on inside there. Now that we took a look at the tuck box, time to take a look at the cards. And first, we'll start with the back design here. You've got a nice white border going around. And then you got the same unicorn that you see on the front of the truck box. You got the unicorn here in the middle with the, the stars, and you got the flower borders going around the unicorn there. And then there's a purple background. And this is a one way back design because if you were to flip it over, the unicorn would be upside down, like the card would be upside down, so they wouldn't be facing the same way. It's a one way back design. Now for the cards you get with the deck. You get one Joker here, and one standard bicycle Joker in purple. It's in a dark purplish color there. Then you get a second Joker. That's the colored version, which fills in all that white with some some lighter purple there. And you got a little bit of blue, yellow, and pink little accents there. And then you get a bicycle cards add card here. You gotta add card for bicycle cards. And it is in the purple color. Purple color way there. And then you got the French on the other side. And then you get a double backer here. Double backer. Now on to the custom Ace of Spades here. You got the bicycle Ace of Spades here. It says bicycle. Then you got the spade there with the purple background and the unicorn there with those stars and then you got the united states playing card company made in the usa there on the bottom and then the rest of the the spades here if you can tell they're in like a darkish purple color they're not like the black they usually are for the spades it's like a dark purplish color there and they're just the standard spades there just in a Different colorway, that dark purple, and that goes throughout all the spades here. With that purplish color, and we get on to the jack, queen, and king of spades here, and they are in like a a purple colorway here. And then each court card has like a little bit of blue there, yellow, and pink in some fa form and fashion there. Now it's got the blue, the pink, and the yellow, a little bit of accents there. Not all in the same spots, but they all have those three different little colors there. Then we get to the Ace of Diamonds here, the diamonds. And you can see it's in a very vibrant pink color there, a little bright pink. And that goes throughout all the diamonds here, a bright pink color. And we get to the diamond, the score cards for the diamonds, the Jack, Queen, and King of Diamonds. And you still got the the pips are still that pink color, but the court card faces themselves are still that purple colorway. And they still have those 
blue, yellow, and pink accents there. On to the clubs here, the Jack, Queen, and King of Clubs. Same thing, standard faces. Just that purple colorway with those three main accents, the blue, the yellow, and the pink accents there. And same thing with the spades that we had with the spades. The clubs are still the same dark purplish color all the way through. And we get to the carts, and there's still that same bright pink colorway. And here we got the Jack, Queen, and King of Hearts here. Same purplish colorway there with the yellow, pink, and blue accents. And the hearts are still the same color as the diamonds, that bright pink color. Well, now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. And this is a brand new deck. I have not yet shuffled this deck before. So we'll test the springs. Okay, the springs are pretty easy. You don't have to put too much pressure, maybe a little bit of pressure, but it's not too hard to bend the cards. These are pretty relatively like medium stock, like thickness of a stock, so it's not too hard to spring them. Now onto the fans. You got those nice even spans here, nice even spread there. There's no clumping or stickiness to the cards. Okay, so they spread nice and even. Now on to the Pharaoh. It kind of it, it did Pharaoh like almost perfect there, but it was a little stiff there. Uh, okay, we're going to redo that because I forgot to do the giant fan there. Okay, it, it does Pharaoh that way. Now for the giant fan. Now if we reverse Pharaoh. Hmm, I'm not sure which way Pharaoh's better. I seen the Pharaoh both kind of similar. Now you're a giant fan of all the faces. There's always at least one card that likes to run away every time I do a giant fan. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Pharaoh on each side. Okay, I think it Pharaoh's slightly easier the reverse way. But they are similar in both ways the Pharaoh, but the reverse way is slightly easier. Now on to the ripple shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. Okay, what I noticed was the Bridge Shuffle here. Is these cards are a little clumpy at first when you're doing it like not like super smooth but the more you use them you can break them in 
and they get a little bit more smoother because I did a couple there and they started to get a little bit more smooth and less clumpy when you wood shuffling them or riffle shuffling them. So anyway, now on to the hand. Now on to packet cuts. Now I want to throw that spread fan there. And one handed cut. Okay, not 52 pickup. The one handed cut. And lastly, oh wait, and no wait, we gotta dribble the cards first. And lastly, spread the cards. And one other thing I want to mention, I noticed the back design here, as you can see. Look, some of them are upside down, some of them are right side up. That's the thing that happens with a one way back design. Some cards can be right side up, some cards can be upside down. So if you like that, and if you don't mind, and it doesn't matter, but some people don't like the one way back designs because they're all upside down and everything when you're doing like cards removes and stuff but anyways the cards handle fantastic and no problems or issues there they look decent they're okay looking I'm about eh, eh. anyways this has been Day 52 of your daily deck review. This has been the Bicycle Unicorn Playing Cards. Hope you enjoyed. That's the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.